NBC correspondent Ariel Cohen here outside the National Association of Broadcasters with Katie Sharp for another summer edition of Fat Girl. So, Katie, what brought you to DC this summer? Well, I actually am doing the summer internship with William and Mary at the DC Summer Institute, and I'm in the New Media Institute. And as part of that, we take an accelerated two week course on new media practices, social media, how does it fit in with the world of journalism, and that kind of stuff. And that was at the beginning of the summer. And the second part of that is an internship in the DC area. So I will, I am, not will be, I am interning at Animal Planet this summer. Cool. In Silver Spring, Maryland. That's great. So, do you find that you're learning a lot in this internship about media? Anything you think you could apply to what you do at the college? What sort of, I guess, what sort of things are you learning? Well, in, within Animal Planet, I'm working in the digital media department, so I'm working a lot with the website, publishing video, tapping into social media practices, um, updating blogs, blogging myself. Um, I had the opportunity to actually interview talent on the phone um, for a new show that's coming up at the end of the summer. So it's been really cool, and I've been able to experience what it's like to work in a big corporation and apply different marketing strategies and all that sort of stuff, so it's been really great. That's awesome. So I know at the college you're very involved in AMP and you write for Rocket Magazine. So do you think that the skills that you've learned here this summer you can bring back to the college with you? Definitely. And um, from an AMP perspective, I mean, my internship has really had me interacting with all different types of people and you know, interacting in business and professional environment and learning from that and how to apply that to my own AMP experience, I guess, with the music committee and homebrew and such. Um, as for Rocket, I have been blogging specifically for Animal Planet, so I've really got to hone my writing skills That's great. and when it comes time to write and fall for Rocket, we all have some good ideas. That's really great. So, um, you have any funny stories, interesting experiences you'd like to share with us from your internship? Um, funny stories. Well, one of the most, or one of the best things that I love about my internship is definitely the people I work with. Yeah. And my coworkers are so down to earth, and genuine, and like super relaxed. Um, we have these weekly meetings called gorilla meetings. <laughs> no, no pun intended, but it's gorilla like it looks. Um, where we all get together as a team and just look at viral videos on the internet. Like what's popular in cat videos, and who wants to see dogs falling down the stairs, <laughs> and look at this dog on a trampoline. And like that, that is what the meeting is. So we go to sites like BuzzFeed and Fluffington Post and try to find like what's trending. And so in the process of all that, we just get to laugh with each other and watch all these funny things. So that's been one of the coolest highlights, definitely. That's wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And I know you're um, you live in Northern Virginia along with the majority of the William and Mary student population, but um, obviously this internship in the DC Summer Institute allows you to spend a lot more time in DC. I guess what have been some cool experiences you've had downtown? Well, as um, part of the class that I am doing with the Summer Institute, we got to go to a lot of site visits. And yeah. what's been cool about doing the William and Mary program is this is something I wouldn't have been able to do on my own. We got to see places like the National Geographic Building. Um, we got to see the Discovery Communications Building. We um, also got to take like a personal tour of C-SPAN. So yeah, and it was a great experience. Um, and a large part of that is due to the William and Mary program, and it's been great. Um, other than that, by the time I get home from my commute, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah. But on the weekends, I come to jazz and sculpture gardens. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of shows at 930 Club, um, and I'm actually going to a concert tonight. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Katie. We really appreciate your time. And if you have anyone you'd like to see on Summer That Guy, email the flat hat.